All right, welcome back, YouTubers. Uh, in this video, we're going to be showing how to FRP bypass a V30. Uh, looks like it's got a newer patch on it. So if you've watched my Stylo 5 or Stylo 6 videos for LG for FRP bypass, and both those methods didn't work, this one might work for you. It seems like they're patching these very, very quick. So I've already gone through the install and updates and everything like that to be at this verify pin uh, area. I um, already logged into my Wi-Fi and all that, uh, but this is a very quick, simple method. So you're going to want to go all the way back out once you've got onto your Wi-Fi and everything like that. Um, simply turn off the phone or restart it, doesn't matter which, and you're going to have to have some timing involved. So we're going to push the SIM card in. Now this is a PUK locked SIM card, so if you don't know how to PUK lock a SIM card, please go to one of my other videos for Stylo 5 or 6, and it'll show you how to do that. Now what we're waiting for on this one is a Verizon. On other ones, you're just going to literally wait for the flip from this Verizon logo screen to the next. As soon as it starts flipping, you need to push this SIM card out of here. If you do it too late, it's going to come up and restart the phone. If you do it right on time, it'll just simply be like that. Now you're going to slide it to the left, or you can slide it to the right, whichever one you want to do. Both of these options are going to come up. Um, yeah, I'll show you the other way too. Um, and then draw it down. That's going to bring up this menu right here, where you're going to want to hold down the Bluetooth button. That's going to bring up your Bluetooth, so you can turn on your Bluetooth. And then, of course, it's going to want to connect to whatever the heck you have here. Now, for play purposes, I'm messing around with a, another Android. So Android, Android always Bluetooth's best. Um, so here you're going to want to download a file. Uh, I always pick First Cousin. That also pertains to my Stylo 5 and 6 videos. Uh, and the first photo here is the easiest. It's a very small file, so it doesn't take very much. You just hold down the image, and of course, it'll come up with a download image. Um, then once it's downloaded, you can simply just go to your gallery. My gallery's already pulled up, of course. So that way then you can send it off. Now you're also going to want to come over, draw down, hit your settings, go to Bluetooth. And that's where the V30 is going to be hiding, so click that. It's going to want to pair it. So then pair them together. All right, and then once they're paired together, like I said, go to your gallery. You're going to want to share it, which is the three dots on the top here, through Bluetooth right there. And then, of course, that's the one that's been paired, so hit it there. It's going to ask if you want to accept it. Accept it. And it's been received. Now, from this screen where we're at on Bluetooth on the V30 or the phone that you have that's FRP locked, Hit the three dots on the top, you're going to go to Received Files. You see the one file that's there, go to it. Now you're going to want to pick Photos out of this. Just do once, so that way then if we had to change it or anything like that, you're fine. Allow, of course, it to access that stuff. All right, now from here, you're going to want to hit the three dots again. So from this device, the V30, the FRP locked one, now you're going to want to share this file. You're going to then hit Email. It's going to ask you another thing. Go ahead and just accept. Hit Microsoft Exchange. It's going to want just something. So just put in anything at whateverelse.com. Now it'll come up with his. Hit Manual Setup. You can shrink the keyboard down and then go to the bottom where it says Client Certificate. Go ahead and Add. Then you'll notice to use Credential Storage, change Security Screen Lock first. So you're going to change it. You're going to select PIN Code. No thanks, because that's going to be a startup pin, and you don't need that. And then just change it. Now, for sake of argument, we'll just use four zeros. Boom. It's going to want a fingerprint as well. I haven't hit cancel to see what really that'll do, but uh, you know the pin code works also, by the way, when you do this right here, because it wants you to enter the pin to even do the setup for the um, fingerprint. So you hit the four zeros, and of course, if it didn't work, it would tell you that was an inaccurate pin code. So now that you've already changed the pin code, we probably really could cancel out of the fingerprint thing and not worry about using it. But again, for sake of argument and having to do things over again, well, why? Just do it. Then hit cancel on install certificate, and then literally back out of everything. Then of course, if you're already hooked up to Wi-Fi and whatnot, hit next. Skip that wonderful part. Yep. 
it'll do another check for you don't copy just another second now it's going to go into the checking info and this is back to the pin now put the four digit pin you put in and there you go done skip that skip it all right we're going to hit more accept this is just a quick throw through to get it all the way to the end we're going to tell it to use wi-fi hit next for the setup wizard skip all this skip all that got it and there you go guys if it worked for you and everything like that please let us know um if it didn't work for you please comment so that way then i can help point you in the direction of where you need to go next um to frp unlock your device normally how this works is lg is going to patch this really quick so we're not going to be able to have this for all that long so hopefully this can help some of you out and uh make sure to like and subscribe take care y'all